Michelle, welcome to your first uh, Sugar Buzz yes. Pantry segment. Exactly. I'm excited to teach you something, but it sounds like I don't need to teach you anything. I know. I know. In high school, I worked in a bakery, but I'm super excited about this. Here's though. a true confession from Michelle. Yes. I'm in trouble with the decorating. But Kendra Arch is here. You've got some, uh, you're going to help us sort of ring in spring today. Exactly. And this idea, you don't have to do just at this time of the year. I think it's just a fun idea to spruce up your normal cupcakes. Okay. You could do it for a birthday party, a baby shower, any kind of special occasion but I thought this would be a little fun way to do your cupcakes and it's all over the internet right now oh. on blogs or recipe websites I've seen this, this idea how many different areas okay so what we're gonna do is you just take a normal white cake mix what we're gonna all do right. is we're gonna basically color our uh, uh, cake batter Oh. So you just put a little bit of your okay. food coloring into your uh, cake batter. You need a white cake mix. Okay. And then once it's all mixed up according to your uh, box directions. How many drops are we talking here? A couple of them. Just a One couple. or two is all that you really need. Okay. And then you mix it up. Divide it into the number of containers that you want Ooh. to have different colors. And then add your, your food coloring. Gotcha. And then we mix it all up mm. so you have all these really cool yeah. colors. And then what you'll do is you'll take your cupcakes or your cupcake liner. Okay. And we're going to layer them. Ooh. So you can do one color on the bottom or on the side, depending on what kind of a look you want. If you want to go with like a rainbow look, mm -hmm. what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get um, your one color down first and then you put your next color over top of it. Okay. But sometimes it's kind of fun on some of these. I did half and half. So you put a little bit. Oh, on one side and okay. On one side. And then if Michelle puts okay. her blue on top of that, what it looks like when you get done baking it is you have all these different colors. So you, this one I have red and yellow and green and blue. And what I think it looks really cool in the white cupcake yeah. liners, mm -hmm. so you can see the different colors. But if you want it to be kind of a surprise for people, put it in your darker colors, and then they won't be able to tell until they open it up. And so when they get done, oh, isn't that fun? Isn't that a cool cupcake? That's very oh, fun. And you open it up, and so you can see all the different colors oh. on the inside. <laughs> And my kids were eating these, and my daughter's like, that's the coolest thing. <laughs> <laughs> and all the colored cupcakes were gone before the plain white or the oh, yellow sure. ones. You know? And so easy to do that. Yeah. Very yeah. easy. And you could do this with pancake batter if you wanted to. Oh, that would be, oh, that would be fun for your kids. Or if you're going to do a big uh, sheet cake or even a 9 by 13, make up a couple of different colors and then just pour it in different areas of the cake. And then this way you have that's different layers idea. or different colors anyway. And then you've got some great decorating oh. ideas. You're going to show us one today. One of them that we're we're gonna do. We're gonna make these little birdies because oh. the birds are oh, gonna so be coming out pretty soon. So all you oh. need to do is you need to just take some brown frosting and okay. ice your cupcake. Okay. And while you're doing that, these are like little malted milk eggs that you can get in the store. And all I'm gonna do to make the little bird is I'm gonna take. Uh, these are edible magic markers. These are oh, called food oh. doodlers. I sell them, but you can also find them like in your craft store. And I'm gonna mark little eyes on them. You could also use frosting if you wanted to to make the little eyes. And then to make the little beaks, I just took a number three tip, and you just take a, a make little dots and pull up. And I, this one is white, but I have orange on here. There's also um, pink here. And then you just stick them right on top of your cupcake. Cupcake. Okay. So no, I was too busy trying to get my chocolate on there that I wasn't. No, you want to put the eyes so. on first? Oh, eyes first. Yeah, okay. put the eyes on first. Who knew they made food coloring pens? Those are really yeah. cool too. How These cool. are fine line, and they also make okay. a thicker one that, and those can be used on oh. cookies or um, crackers, uh, toast, things like that. So your kids can actually play with them too. You can color your food. So cute. <laughs> Oh, and then just stick those on. Yep, yeah, just and you can do right the on. orange beak or the white beak. Right. Oh, and this way, you know, pretty soon we're gonna have little birdies coming out everywhere. So. And this will be very, very appropriate. And, exactly. and if our guys can get a shot of all of the different kind of decorating ideas. You do a lot of classes. You just did one with this bouquet. I of did flowers, a cupcake right? bouquet, and we're gonna do another one this time. It's gonna be down in Viroqua on April 9th, and I also have a cup or a cake pops class coming up on April 2nd. So all you have to do is go to my website, thesugarbuzzpantry.com, and it has all the information there on how to sign up. I have a newsletter and Facebook and. And it's just, there's some different ideas on this. This is well. just the sort of tip of the iceberg right. of ideas that you can come up with. Exactly. Well, Kendra Arch from the Sugar Buzz Pantry, we appreciate you coming in. We're going to take a break, maybe give these a try. Uh, and Michelle's then we'll be really right good. back. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's good. Michelle, so good. We'll be right back.